to command children's school, private school, military uh, 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 children. That's children whose parents are military. They pay thirty naira per term. I'm telling you, 1981. Civilians they pay fifty naira per term. I and my two younger ones. My elder sister was already in their boarding school. But you know, my dad, being a womanizer, one like come and look flirt around with women. My mom had it one day. Went to fight. That's why I won't encourage any woman. Don't go and fight. Face your life. Ah, one day my mother had that somebody gave back to a child for my dad. So my mom traced the woman. Got there very early in the morning before the naming. Gave her a beating of her life and escaped. So when my dad got to that house, met that they had beat the wife, they didn't know who beat the wife. But my mom was very light, like Oriola. Who beats you? He said, one light in complete. Ah, my dad already knows. One, I won't mean it. Came back home, gave her a terrible beating too. That one still didn't make her to leave the house. But the one that moved her to leave was when one of my daddy's wife came home in Monday morning. Knocked the door and entered. My mother said, I have heard of you. You have the audacity to still come and meet me in my house. So the fight started. I was there. It was a beating. You know, my mom is an Igbo woman. Could you see come on Yoruba? Could you Igbo? On bad joke, so the number one she see let my dad entered. So save this girlfriend from his wife, and told my mom, if you are tired. Pack your children and leave. So she left. We didn't know that in the package of us leaving, my dad went to the school to tell them, I'm coming with a story. They are no longer my children. So let them begin to pay what civilians are paying. So my mom started owing school fees. But the story I'm telling you, we had one gate man called Mr. Udo. I don't know what they told him. Anytime we get to the gate, he will shout, yes, let's see them. Yes, let's see them. Get out. Now never pay school fees. Go, 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 go. He will chase us like dog. Lo and behold, a few years ago, Mr. Udo was selling fine ice. Ice cream. He crossed this church. I recognize him. Children can recognize adults. I was in primary two when he committed that act. But this is me. I've become a full-grown man. So I called ice cream. He came. Oga, Oga, which one make I give? I said, give me big you got. Four. I brought out money. That time it was 100 naira, 1,000. I gave him. He wanted to bring it. I said, no, hold on. I said, do you know me? He said, no, sir. I don't know you, sir. I said, are you not Mr. Udo? He said, you know my name. I said, have you been a, a gate man with command children's school before? He said, yes, sir. He said, you don't know. I, you don't know Afolabi children. Organa, you be this? Organa, you be this? Organa. He never knew that he could meet me again. Olashamani tabano min romani sherufi tomoje. The brothers of Jesus never thought they could meet Joseph, Joseph again. I mean, the brother of Joseph. The wife of Potiphar never knew that Joseph would become prime minister in that same nation. Be careful what you do to people today. It's a seed you are planting. By the grace of God, I know of people we have given assistance to to start business. If Mr. Udo had done so well, Daddy would have taken his number. Daddy would have asked his address. I would have asked him, what can we do to help you? If you are done well. And daddy looked at me, shook his head. I know he never thought he would meet me again. How am I? How am I? 
Ha, na you be this, na me. Life, like I said, is a field. Before you do anything to anyone, think of tomorrow. Imagine how Joseph said to his brothers, where is your father? They said, our father is at home. How many children does your father have? They said, uh, he has uh, 11. Well, one died. The, that one that died, does he have any brother? They said, yes. His name is Benjamin. You know what? I will lock these two up. Go and bring him. Please, sir. Please, sir. They went. They saw their father. We met this man. He has locked up two of our brothers. He said we should come and bring this one. Uh, Benjamin. The father said, no, no, no. I cannot leave Benjamin. Uh, Joseph is gone. I cannot leave Benjamin. He said we should come and bring or else you won't see the remaining two. The two that was lo were locked up. The Bible says, and Reuben. Was it Reuben or Judah? One of them came over and said, sir, I pledge my life. I will bring him back to you. Jacob cried and gave them. When they all, even Benjamin could not recognize his blood brother. Wealth can change people. Ah, or a man change. If I bring a Vance picture to you now, you will never believe he's the one. <laughs> then all of them lay down, they were begging. After they brought you Benjamin, please, sir, forgive us. We are not thieves. The Bible says, and Joseph wept. He went inside. He cried aloud. He came out again. He now said to the brothers, I am Joseph. What do you think will cross their mind? Fear. We sold him. Ah, we took his coat of many colors. Life is a field. Your attitude is the seed. Be careful what you do to people. The second story I'll be telling you is the story of myself. My math teacher. When I was in Ibadan Boys High School, Mr. Falabi is his name. Ah, that teacher is very good, but very wicked. This thing will take chalk. Now listen to me, student. From me, maybe everyone look at me. Now when you take this one plus this one plus this one, X plus X plus this plus this plus this, what is the answer? Well, you tell me the answer. <laughs> and he has three pancare and it's a long one. Eh, 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 eh. He will just say, oh dear, tada, oh dear, tada, oh dear, ah. He will face the body again. Very fast. You, what's the answer? So, his attitude drove me out of maths class. See, Mr. Falabi, what you want to buy? Because of him, I began to fail Because of him, I began to fail maths. He doesn't know how to explain it's too fast. And he won't wait. If you make mistake, he won't be patient with you. Is your head like this. Six with three or four pancreas in his hand. I left about the West High School. We passed out 1994. About 20 years later, I saw him here. He had stroke. They said they should bring him to the pastor here. That they said the pastor here is anointed, can pray for him. But he didn't know I was a student. As I saw him, he didn't know me, but I know him. Because once a man died, he was a man who died. He was a man who died. He was a man who died. He was a man who <laughs> say life that was the same thing that happened between me and my dad you know when my uh, dad when he was to die I was the only one there in the hospital that I could call thank God I, I, I was not wicked I had to lead him to Christ 
If I was wicked, I would let, allow him to pass to hellfire straight. Yeah, bye bye. Or no, I'm not. <laughs> but I'd give him a life to Christ. Now, what is the, the, the summary of this second base is that listen, in relating with people, be careful. In the things you do to people, please be careful. You know why? Whatever you are doing now is a seed. I shared a testimony in the first service in the morning. The person that gave me one million naira this year, January, was somebody I raised inside my own house. Picked him from, from nowhere. Sent him back to school. Was feeding him in my house. He got a job. God has blessed him. And January, he said, I want to give you a seed, sir. And he gave me the first one million naira from an individual, one person that I saw. And when I asked him, where did you get it from? He said, my savings, sir. The day I saw him, imagine I said, you know how people treat people? Tell your neighbor again, life is a field. Your attitude is a seed. It determines the kind of harvest you get out of life. Let's take the last one. Third aspect that you have to be careful of what you sow. Number three, be careful what you sow towards God and the things of God. Hmm. Hey. Hello, me, no, you, my way. This one too is a seed. I have a lot of scriptures, but there's no time. I'll close with just a summary. If you are actually serving God, do you know that you are actually serving yourself? Your service to God does not benefit God in any way. Your giving to God does not benefit God in any way. The Bible says he owns the thousand cattle on the hills. That's why, understand that your service to God is a seed. Can we quickly just borrow uh, Isaiah 30, is it 38 or 35? 38. From verse 1. Let's just borrow it. I have a lot of scriptures here, but I, there's no time. Thank you. At that time, Ezekiel got sick. Follow this. He was about to die. The prophet Isaiah, son of, okay, we are still reading the message Bible. Prophet of Isaiah, son of Amos, visited him and said, God says, prepare your affairs and your family. This is it. You are going to die. You are not going to get well at all. Verse 2. Ezekiah turned away from Isaiah facing the wall, prayed to God. What was his prayer? Let's look at the content of his prayer. Faster. God, please, I beg you, remember how I have, I have lived my life. I have lived faithfully in what? In your presence. Live out of a heart that was totally yours. You have seen how I have lived. The good that I have done. And Ezekiah wept. Now wait. This verse, give us King James. Concentrate, concentrate. Mom, Michelle, are you here? Concentrate. No, verse, uh, verse 3, Lanka. Look at this. And said, remember now, O Lord, I pray, how I have walked before you in truth, and with a loyal heart, and have done what is good in your sight. Can you see? Your relationship with God, very, very important. Your commitment in his house, sir, very, very important. Do you know that after this, there's no time for us to read. God had to send Isaiah, go back. Tell him that I'm giving him extra 15 years. Do you know that this was the same process that Dorcas followed? Do you remember Dorcas? Dorcas that died. And women were coming around. 
on lo fun alaso aso to ran fun mire this one came in church ah o ga peteru pa so peteru aso ti do ka si ran fun mire this one came o ba so peteru aso si do ka si ran fun mire it was the women in church that steered up the faith of peter and peter said bring her sir ma your service to god does not benefit god in any way it's for you There are times in a man's life where what you will do is to cry over your service. Uluwa. Ubi mo se je oluto so si ni nle ire. Igba ti Olorun fe ja fun mo se ki lo so. Only he is faithful to me in all my house. That's why at times I look at some of our people when it comes to things of God we just do it anyhow. Whatever you are doing is a seed. I want to summarize. With Daddy Grace's testimony. Daddy Grace, please come, sir. They will be watching you all over the world. Maybe I should even advertise your business. If you need any house, you want to buy a house, you want to sell a house from abroad, Eban Bill Juan. This is Obe. Property seller. Eh? buyer and now this is business this man had stroke but before the stroke we were choosing ministers that will go on assignments to the level church we mentioned his name she, uh, she not seen, yes. that he's going to be part of the team that will be going for evangelism that year it was that same year he fell sick he said where he lay down i got to the house i was shocked where he was, I went to see him. I saw that his wife knelt down. He sat down on the floor. The wife knelt down behind him. I was, what kind of a sitting arrangement is that? He agrees. He agrees. He agrees. He agrees now. When he said, I'm back to the house. I'm going to say, 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 So we prayed together. I left. He said he now slept. He saw himself in his dream. He was going. I bet she's me quiet. He was going. He was going. Tell us the rest. I can't remember again. Uh, somebody told me that I had to go and do my assignment. Somebody he said, someone now told him, you have an assignment. Go back and do your assignment. Go and do your assignment. Which means that the day we chose him, here or not, the heavens approved it. If you are a choir here, they know in heaven that you are a choir. If you are a madaru here, they know in heaven that you are a madaru. He came back because they told him, go back. You have an assignment. Thank you, sir. Please patronize Obe for me. I didn't say clap. Patronize. I don't want to fake. Listen. It means that they are proving that up there. If you are a drama in church, they know in heaven. He came back and came out of the of the stroke. He came back and came out of stroke. How many years ago was that, sir? Seven years ago. Wow. Oluwa. No mini share. Amy, yo, she not only a jay. Oluwa, mama. Da share low on me. Oluwa, mama. Le me guru. Nibi is a re. Oluwa, no mini share. Amy, yo, That's why some of you, God have given you only small blessing. Along come for blessing, can create test here. You have dropped your service to God with little test. You are no longer there. You come to church when you like, when you know that there's a standard for that department. Sir, because of my service as a pastor. Do you know I had to leave the comfort of my bed 
every Saturday with my family to come and sleep in our office so that we will meet up to the 7 a.m. leader's prayer. If I'm to leave my house at 11, it will take me one hour to get here. But I know I have an assignment. It's a calling. Ah, kusi time. Mbafiti Colinius se honi. Do you know that even Colinius, the angel that came to him said, your prayers and your gifts to the poor has come up to God as a memorial. He was in the charity department. Please, go and put things in order. There are certain junctions you will get to in this life. You will call God by your service. Sir, remember how I have been committed in this aspect. Are you blessed today? So what is life again? Life is the field. What is the seed? Your attitude is the seed. Rise up. Oh yeah, rise. I know you will not be able to clap. You are angry, Abby. Clap for Jesus, Joe. <laughs> be on your feet. Be on your feet. So go back home and go back to your notes. Hmm? Go back and go through the three, the three fields where you sow your seed. Your life, humanity, and towards God and the things of God. And as you go back to them, please do the right thing. The Lord will strengthen you. Lift up your right hand and I pray for you. That this new week that you have entered, lines will fall for you in pleasant places. All you lay your hands upon to do shall prosper. No weapon formed or fashioned against you will prosper in Jesus' name. In every aspect of life, this week receive good news. I declare again, I say receive good news. Your good expectation will not be cut off. And whatsoever the wicked has planned against you goes back to them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And amen. Can we share the grace together in fellowship? One, two, three, and let's go. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ.